Here we are, Charlotte Putting League, February 6th, men's final. Who do we got? Jeremy Mason. And Justin Richardson. Versus Clifford Lockwood. And Pack em. let's go. Played up to 21, got a win by two. Anybody like to be a guest volunteer scorekeeper? We would appreciate. <laughs> All right, we got we got Tommy Harris volunteering to be the scorekeeper. We appreciate that very very vital role here at Charlotte Putting League is the the volunteer scorekeeper. All right, here we go. Men's final. Yep. Yep. Cliff starts off making his first putt. Not to be outdone, Justin Richardson answers right back. See if Cliff can get a double. And he does. Justin answers. Three to three. Now when I say double, that means he sinks both putts. That is worth three points. If you only sink one putt, that is worth one point. So you can quickly rack up points. Ooh. I got Peckham on the on your left, Jeremy on your right. Both missing their first putts. Both of these guys, actually all these guys are excellent putters. Uh, Matt Peckham on your left there in the yellow. He is representing Innova. Yep. Jeremy Mason has yep. been coming to putting league. He was the only person last year to make every single week, which is pretty spectacular. Um, three to three. Boy, open frame on that side. We got doubles on one side, open frame on the other. There are a little bit of nerves here in the finals. Everybody's watching. Everybody's quiet. We play uh, typically throughout the night. We got music bumping. There's all sorts of people playing. Lots of distractions. And, and everybody's doing their own thing. But in the end, the last round, finals, all eyes are on these four gentlemen. Plus Tommy Harris, who is volunteering for the score. That's a single. Justin answers. Four to four. Let's go. Peck him. Hitting the top again. Let's see if he can adjust. Let's see if Jeremy adjusts from his last round. He does. It's his first. Peck him putting with those Novas. Actually, AVR is used to putt with Novas. We got... Jeremy Mason putting with those mint and white Novas as well. We got end of a healthy, healthy representation here in the finals. Alright, 7-5. Now the reason I point out that they're putting with end of a putter is because if the winners use end of a putter, which I believe all Four of them, yes they do. Cliff is putting with Innova as well. So two of these folks will win the Innova Bounty. There you go. Which means that they will each get two Innova putters of their choice from the warehouse out here in Rock Hill. We got Innova in our backyard, which is really a beautiful thing. They've been with us since year one. Ooh, Cliff with a dirty miss. They started off pretty hot and ground to a Pace has slowed down. These are our best teams all night. Let's see if they can kick this back into gear here. Jeremy Mason is the first graduate of the Better Putter program, and he's racked up a few wins. Peckham adjusts. Nails him. He's racked up quite a few wins here. Wonder who's gonna get this one. There it is. Jeremy with a double. Peckham answering back with a double as well. 10-8. 10-8. So I said, throughout the night we play six rounds. We play up to 11 points. We gotta win by two, just like in this round. Still gotta win by two. But we played a 21, we raised the stakes. Since you're playing for cash, as well as the end of a bounty. So the winners will take home 41 bucks a piece.
Oh, a little low. It's a big opportunity for Cliff here to tie it up. I know it's... Good step off. Vacuum. Top. Almost. All right. So in addition to the cash and the end of a bounty, the winners also receive a crowler, which is a 32 ounce can filled with whatever they like from our host, Lenny Boy Brewing. They're here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Makers of Wild Ale, hops, IPAs, coffee porters, and my favorite, kombucha. They got more different kinds of kombucha than I've ever seen. They got eight different kinds on tap. They sell bottles. And they fill crowlers, those wonderful 32 ounce take home cans. 10 to 14. Justin and Jeremy, they were, they were the only undefeated team tonight. There you go. Cliff steps off, shakes it off, comes back, and makes the putt. Yeah. <laughs> Justin just floating by, gets it right in. Jeremy with a rare miss. Let's see if Peckham can take advantage and rack up a double here. That's what they need at this point. Let's see if Jeremy can at least salvage one point from this side. And he does. Dead center. Peckham takes advantage, racks up the double. Down by two, 14 to 16. We got ourselves a game here. There's been some crazy comebacks. This is a close one. See if it comes down to the wire, 14 and 16. Barely misses. Got 13 minutes left here. Actually, I got about seven minutes, so. Hopefully that finishes quickly before I run out of memory. 15 and 16. There we go. 17. This is to tie it up. This is a big putt right here. Let's see what happens. And he does it. It is all knotted up. 17s. 17 and 17. We got a brand new ball game here. It's a sprint for the next four points. But remember, you got to win by two. So even if you hit 21, it may not be over. Jeremy putting the pressure on Peckham. Peckham answering back. This is to get to 20. This is a big putt. This is a really big putt. And sinks it. Let's see if Peckham can answer. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. This could be it. So, if Justin hits them both, there is nothing that Cliff can do, it is game over. Although, if Justin hits one, and Cliff makes them both, now that's halfway home. As I always say, the hardest putt to make in Charlotte Putting League is the one to end the match. Cliff needs them both. If he misses one, it is... Oh, that is game. We always finish it out even though it's over. And Justin nails his second. That is game. Thank you, Tommy. There it is.
If you threw numbers, you would've won, man. <laughs> Nicely done, gentlemen. Nicely done, winners. End of a bounty. Look, they're both. You both have Novas. Yeah, Nova party right there. Very cool. Nicely done, dudes.